What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. Time to show you guys a Nike Dunk Low, Industrial Blue, Sash Psycho. Okay guys, so here we have it. These did officially drop today at Boutiques. Um, I did get this from the Hush Lake Boutique in Inglewood, New Jersey. Now this shoe retail for 120 bucks today. Um, the resale isn't going for that much. So I'm gonna show you guys the front of the box right here. I did go with a size nine on this. As you guys can see, we don't get a suggested retail on the box. Um, regular Nike Dunk box, as you guys can see. Open up the top of the box, we do get the blue stamp on the inside. This is just my receipt. I'm gonna get some regular tissue paper and then get this shoe right here. Now in the tri-state area, we was calling these the denim dunks. But um, the actual name is Industrial Blue Sash Psycho, and basically the Sash Psycho comes from this embroidery that you guys see on the toe box right there and on the back of the shoe, and that comes from the Japanese culture, and that's just something that they put on their jeans and things like that. So I'm sure you got some images right here. But other than that, it's a really nice, clean-looking shoe. Um, I love the color scheme and the blocking on this. The shoe is all in canvas material, so let's get right into it, guys. So on the bottom of the shoe here, we get this blue on the bottom. With the Nike and the swoosh right there in the middle, as you guys can see. Coming towards the midsole here, we get the white midsole with the white stitching on both the outside and the inside of the shoe. Now coming up to the base of the shoe right here, we get in the blue and white canvas, and it's outlined in that white stitching. Um, really, really nice. These will look really nice with some jeans and a plain white t-shirt. Very basic fits with these shoes right here. On the outside of the shoe, as you guys can see, it is pretty nice. I don't really see too many stitching errors, but I do see a little bit of glue stains on the outside and all the way around the shoe towards the bottom where the midsole and the canvas meet. Um, but you know, it is what it is. These shoes are made in the masses. Same thing on the inside right here. We get the same thing. We get the blue, then we get the white panel right there in the middle in that canvas. All right. And then we get the white stitching outlining the whole shoe on both the outside and the inside of the shoe. Now, with that being said, you know, if you wear these on a windy day or a dusty day, they will be very hard to keep clean, um, especially because it's white canvas. But other than that, it is a really clean shoe. Just be mindful when and where you are wearing these because they're gonna be very hard to clean once they get dirty. Um, coming towards the front of the toe box here, we get that size Psycho embroidery right there in blue and it's basically like a cross as you guys can see these will not crease up on you especially when i push down on it you guys don't have to pick where we shoe shoes in these because they do have that canvas material i'm um, looking at the mud guard here we get this blue on the mud guard and that canvas material and as you guys can see again that glue stains all the way around the front on both shoes Okay, under that we get some white, some white stitching, and then we see the blue stars creeping up from the bottom of the shoe. Now, unfortunately, we only do get one pair of laces in these, and they come with some white laces. All right, we get this white canvas tongue. I'll show you guys that, and at the top of the tongue it says Nike with the swoosh under it in blue, and the top of the tongue is outlined in blue as well. On the inside of the tongue, it just tells us where the shoe is made from and everything like that. On the sock lining of the shoe, we do get some blue in there on the sock lining. I'll show you guys that. We do get some tissue inserts as well. Okay, um, take out these insoles on the shoe. It is in blue and it says Nike with the swoosh on it. Okay, this is the cheap insoles. So we get the gray on the back. All right, um, be careful when you are taking these out because mine's was a little bit hard. So be careful with that. You don't wanna rip the actual insole. Under the actual insole, it is white and then we get some white stitching. The production dates on this was 08 to 09 22 22. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick look at that if you guys are checking your pairs with me. Okay, coming towards the back of the shoes right here. Get some more of that. It's that Psycho embroidery up there in white this time. In the background of that isn't that blue. Okay, under that we get some white canvas and then it goes back down to the blue canvas right there. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys my foot is in the toe box right now. Okay guys, so this is what they look like on feet. Pretty clean in my opinion. Now I'm a true size nine, I'm gonna get nine and a half in on my shoes. I was able to go true size on these. And I will say that it does feel like a normal Nike Dunk low in my opinion, or fit like a Nike Dunk low in my opinion. I'm gonna show you guys my foot is in a toe box right here. So I'm looking around, but if you guys cannot tell, my big toe is right here. So I do have a good amount of space in front of the toe box. Um, I don't feel this material on the inside or on the outside, actually. Maybe it's because of that canvas material. And I will say that I do have a little bit of slippage on here, as you guys can see. Now, um, if you have a wider foot or need a little bit of extra space, I would still say go to the size because it probably will fill up a little bit more of the shoe. But if you ever had a Nike Dunk Glow before, you know that it's a little bit narrow in the toe box and then it starts to open up towards the back. So if you like to wear your shoes unlaced like myself, um, you could try true to size. But if you want to be sure, go up half a size. If you like to wear your shoes normal, 
like this right here tied up um, you can go up half a size if you need a little bit more space or have a wider foot um, and you won't have any slippage but this is a true size fitting shoe that is only if you like to wear your shoes unlaced you know what I mean you might want to go up half a size but you might have a little bit of extra space towards the back because once again this starts to open up towards the back and it's a little bit more narrow in the front but other than that they feel really nice on feet and I'm gonna show you guys what these look like with some different pants options right now Okay, guys, so I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, show your boy some love, and stay tuned.